Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going through all my different foundations. I have them in this camera bag right here. I'm basically going to be going through all these different formulas, all these different bottles. I'm going to be telling you guys which ones I've been using and which ones I've forgotten about, which ones I like, which ones I don't like, which ones again I've forgotten about because I basically have been doing this like series on my channel if you will in which I go through different categories of my makeup collection. I pick out products that I I like and products I don't like, products I've forgotten about, and essentially the goal of this like little mini series on my channel is to go through everything in my makeup collection to start using products I have neglected to use. So at some point in a few months, I can do a declutter and I can start decluttering various portions of my makeup collection so I can have a curated selection of makeup that I absolutely love. And the problem is, I think that a lot of you guys might can relate to this but um the problem is so many products are in my collection that sometimes I just forget about things I forget about opinions and my concern is I have forgotten about products that I absolutely love which is why I want to motivate myself to use products that I don't use and I want to basically hold myself accountable which is why I'm filming this video so you guys can basically watch and so I can be like okay I filmed this on YouTube now I have to use this and so I can use it and then I can have an opinion on it then I can like at some point maybe declutter these foundations and I don't have like a ton but I have more than I need because um you know like this is this is pretty much it and the reason that I want to like cut down so much is because you guys probably already know this but I don't really wear a lot of foundation this like what's on my face right now is the most foundation that I will wear and this is like the thinnest like the sheerest layer of foundation on my skin and that's the most foundation that I use at any one time because I don't really wear foundation on a daily basis at all so these foundations are not getting used I'm gonna film this video and I'm gonna basically take you through each and every single one and it's gonna be that kind of video so anyway let's just get started with the first two foundations that I want to talk to you guys about these are the Rimmel foundations I have two I have the Rimmel lasting finish 24 25 hour wear with comfort serum foundation which is this one right here and then I have the Rimmel match perfection 24 hour moisture per pore blur pore blurring effect foundation so these are the two that I have currently in my collection now these I do know are several dollars at the drugstore very inexpensive if you can get Rimmel wherever you live in your country I really did like them when I first got them however I haven't used them in a very long time I think I remember liking this formula better than this one but I'm not sure I do know that both formulas are quite thick they're definitely one of my more thick foundations if you will so that kind of like um that kind of means that maybe I'll declutter these maybe because I don't really wear thick foundations I like sheer uh formulas I like sheer coverage right now so I might declutter these but I I remember really liking this one especially. I kind of remember liking both, but this one I think I like more. So anyway, I haven't used these in a very long time. I'm definitely going to try and use them. You probably will see more of this one on my channel. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I mean like they kind of like are kind of, they're definitely kind of old school. Um, they don't even have a pump and I now I think like every foundation has a pump now, but like they're, they're pretty much like that and I feel like I should go ahead and try and try them out again and see what I think and then I'll get back to you. You probably might see them in like a tutorial or something though. Like that's kind of like what I do whenever I want to like use up makeup. I just put it in a tutorial because honestly that's whenever, that's basically when I do my makeup when I'm filming a tutorial because I don't really wear makeup that often. So anyway, moving on, let's talk about some more drugstore foundations. I'm kind of on a roll here, but these are drugstore foundations that I know that I absolutely love. These are the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundations and Concealers. So good. I have two shades. I have number one, Creamy Vanilla, and then number two, Natural Summer Shade, Winter Shade. Love them both. So, so good. Definitely a little bit more of like a thicker formula, but I think that this is more whipped. This has a pump you know, 
And this is like, what, like about $10 at the drugstore? A little bit more expensive than the Rimmel ones, but I love them. They are high coverage, so I'm able to basically use them as concealer. For a while, I was basically um, using them to spot conceal on my face. And when I was like kind of transitioning into not wearing foundation, I was a little bit like um, kind of shy about having my like acne on display for everybody. And I still kind of am, like if I'm having like a bad hormonal day, let's just say, and I have like really bad skin and I don't want people to see it, I will like use, I think um, this lighter one as a concealer. And what's nice is that it's a concealing product because it is so high coverage, but at the same time, it's a very whipped texture. So it just like shears out beautifully once you blend it in. So it looks really natural. And this is an almost like exact match for me. Really good. I absolutely love these. I definitely know about these, but um, moving on, let's talk about this. This is another foundation that... I don't really use and I have a reason for it but I feel like this reason is definitely a weak one. I use this for like FX makeup and I know I don't really do FX makeup that often. I've done like FX makeup like a handful of times but I think that it's definitely nice to go in my collection and have like specific things designated for FX makeup because the thing about FX is a lot of times you're using latex, you're using fake blood and those are not things that, I want, that you want on your face on a daily basis. So having this, like this is the L'Oreal True Match uh, foundation. And this is a very light shade. This is like C2, very light. Having this is really useful because then I can just like easily just grab this and I don't have to worry about getting latex in here or getting like any contamination because this is just designated for like FX, you know? That's why it's a good idea to keep this because it is small, doesn't take up much room, and I really do use it for FX for that purpose. So yeah, I'm kind of like debating on whether or not I should keep this or throw it away. I feel like I'll keep this, but I can't really speak as to the quality or the like effect of this foundation because I've actually never worn this all over my face. I just use it for specific purposes with effects. Then I have this foundation right here. It is so good. I'm actually, I think I'm running out of this and that's kind of scares me because it's so good and it's a little bit of like a higher end foundation. Not like super high end, but like I would say like 30 to 40 dollars this is the fiona styles matte finish foundation concentrate oh my gosh i feel like this was the first matte foundation that i tried that like just blew me out of the water i really remember me using this foundation for the first time it was so good fiona styles is definitely an underrated makeup brand and it's really sad because like they were in ulta and i think that they didn't really have good sales so they actually ended up pulling them from like the ulta lineup which is really unfortunate but now you can get uh the brand from like a different website um it's pretty easy to find and i think that i'll try and link it down below I'm gonna try and link products. I don't usually do this because it actually takes a, long, a lot longer than you might think, but I feel like I will try and link this one. I'll try and remember. Please remind me if I forget. I know I'm very forgetful, but this is such a good foundation. It's like a medium coverage. It's definitely whipped. It has like this beautiful velvety finish on the skin. It's a matte, but it's not like a very drying matte. It looks absolutely beautiful. I've looked online and seen people like even with like more uh, dry, mature skin really rave about this. And I have oily skin. Well, right now at the moment, I have skin that tends to get very oily. It's not like oily all the time, but it's it does get very sweaty and very oily very easily. However, this is such an amazing foundation. I absolutely love it. When it I when I put it on my face, it's definitely an amazing effect that I'm obsessed with. Next, I want to talk about this foundation right here. This is like frustrating because I used to really like it and I still think it's a really great foundation. So this is the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. Now, I used to rave about this foundation. I used to love it. I still think it's great and it really works for me. However, I have the wrong shade for me. And it took me a while for to realize this because I'll admit, I was in denial. I was like, this is my shade. Uh, this is the shade uh, 230. This is my shade. 230 is my shade. And I'd wear it on my skin and then it would look like kind of bad since it wasn't the right match. And I don't know, I feel like I have to go into Sephora and get rematched because it's just not my match. And I really like it, 
but it's not my match. So what I've been doing is I've been using it on my eyelids as an eyeshadow base and it actually has like done pretty well like with that purpose. Um, I used it today and I don't like you probably don't judge my eyeshadow. It's been on my eyes a little bit. I use gloss and it's been on my eyes for like what two hours and it's kind of going everywhere but this is kind of like the makeup look that I was going for, like very avant-garde, very like messy. But I used this foundation and I'm using it up as an eyeshadow primer. And that's basically like the purpose that I have invented for it, if you will. And believe it or not, a lot of the foundations that are in my collection I'm using up as eyeshadow primer because I just want to use them up and I don't want to waste them. So anyway, moving on, let's talk about the next foundation. This is definitely... Okay one that I love for eyeshadow primer. I sound like a crazy person, I know. I'm not telling you to go out and buy these foundations for eyeshadow primer. I'm just saying, if you ever have a foundation that you don't use as often, you're like, I need to use this foundation more often, but I don't want to use it because if it's either too heavy, uh, too mattifying, not my everyday look, or if you have a foundation that doesn't match you and you're like, what do I do? I can't return it, it's been too long, or um, it's like supposed to be like my like winter shade and summer uh, summer shade winter basically if you have a foundation and it fits into that category and you want to use it just use it as like an eyeshadow base because I know if you're wearing colorful eyeshadows you probably want like a white base but if you're in a pinch and you want um, an eyeshadow base and you don't want to spend money so you want to get something that's already in your collection just use a long wearing matte foundation because it's meant to be long wearing so my thing is like my theory if you will if you put a uh, product on top of a long wearing foundation it will serve the purpose of long wear so like, it will basically make your eyeshadow last longer that's pretty much my thing and this is amazing I have worn this in the Texas heat, in humidity. I have worn it with like a full glam face, with beautiful, like just vibrant eyeshadow. I have sweated with this and it has not gone anywhere. As a foundation, it works amazingly as well because you put it on your face and it doesn't move. Like it doesn't move at all. This is probably like the most... Uh, full coverage foundation in my lineup right here. It is super full coverage, super long wearing. It's like super glue for your skin. That sounds so weird, but like it sounds kind of nasty. But uh, that's pretty much what it is. You know, it doesn't go anywhere. It really works. And I think that if you're looking for a foundation with that purpose, like this is a really good option. However, my thing is, since I rarely go for a full coverage foundation anymore and I don't want something very heavy and I'm not saying that this is heavy it's not heavy for a matte foundation but it's heavy because like for me right now I'm used to like the sheerest lightest coverage and that's what I'm going for so I'm not really used to using this at the moment but uh, I have been using it up since I've been using it as a primer I sound like a crazy person I know but I just like come up with like different ways to use different products and this is an example. I would invite you to notice that a lot of my more recent foundations um, come in pumps and that's because like I am not someone that will tolerate something that's not in a pump. There is an exception which I'll get into later but I need a pump and if I want a pump I'm gonna get a pump with my foundation. There is a plethora of formulas out there so you don't need to like feel like you have to work with like something like this anymore because like let's just face it like you know this is just like a little bit much but um yeah so like that's uh, me being a little bit bougie I'm like I need a pump so I'm gonna get a pump anyway this next product is one that I just might declutter I will try and use it again but I don't have very high hopes this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundation remember when everyone was going bananas over this like they, everyone was like this is amazing like, uh, 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 uh. and then some people were like uh, this is not so good but then I was like oh yes I'm gonna get it because I think it's amazing I think it's gonna work beautiful is that a lawnmower outside why does that always happen? Probably because I film in the morning because like that's the only chance I get. But anyway, this is um, a foundation that I thought would be amazing for my oily skin and I thought it was going to like last longer and I thought it was going to be great. So my first time trying this out, I basically wore it to school and I don't know what year this was when I was in school. I mean, I graduated like last year, but I think that this was in junior year, so this is this is several years old. But like, um, I basically wore it 
and I put it on in the morning and then I went to the bathroom like uh, I think an hour and a half into school my foundation had disappeared and I had powdered and I had baked and my foundation was gone that was not a nice feeling plus it didn't really look that good on my like face at all from what I can remember and I ended up using it as like an eyeshadow primer because I just was like, you know, what the heck, I want to use this up. But then like the thing is, if you're putting an eyeshadow like primer on your eyes and it's not long wearing to begin with, what's the point of wearing it on your eyes? That's my question for myself. So it's like, I don't even use this anymore. And it's like, you know, like I can't, I, I feel like I need to throw it away. I need to declutter it, but then I'm like, I want to hold on to it because like, you know, I feel like I have to because honestly, like when I declutter this, these foundations, I can't like give them to friends and family because they're so old. I don't give them to subscribers because I don't want to give my used makeup to you guys. The reason is because I want to stay hygienic and I want to make sure that I'm not giving anyone like, I don't know, pink eye? I don't know. I don't have pink eye, but I just, I don't want to like be inconsiderate to you guys and just give you something that you might hate, you know? And at the same time, like I don't want to give it to anybody else because I'll be honest, when I buy makeup, I'm not like careful with it. I kind of beat it up. I like make I, I use makeup and I use makeup so it's like whenever I get rid of these it's gonna go in the bin so it's kind of like I don't want to waste product but at the same time this is so bad I actually might throw it away so there's that uh I'll let you guys know I'll try it again and I'll let you guys know this is like another thing I actually have two from the same brand this is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation and then I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation I remember a time that I used to absolutely love and rave about this foundation in particular because I would use it like and I would mix it in with the different foundations to give me like this glowy complexion if you will and then I'd use this to like just heighten the coverage of other foundations and I was like these foundations are amazing you know and it's kind of like um they're not bad from what I can remember but like now like I have foundations that I love so it's kind of like, I'm not gonna use these foundations. I probably should try them again for the sake of like, you know, science and makeup research. But I don't, you know, I, pro I probably will end up getting rid of these, but I'm gonna try them out. Because like, um, this just like looks kind of like oily on the face, on my face. And this, like, I feel like, I feel like I've seen better now, so it's kind of like, mm, I might get rid of these, might not, we shall see. I'll try them out soon and I will give you my verdict, hopefully. Or I just might not be like, or I, might, or I just might try like this one and just get rid of this one because I can't remember liking this foundation to begin with, so, you know, that might be like me uh, cheating a little bit, but I do want to try out like these foundations again so I can give you guys my verdict. I admit, I got this foundation because... I was watching Jaclyn Hill's favorites video and she was just like obsessing over this foundation at some point. Now she's obsessing over the Morphe foundation, but a few years ago she was obsessing over this foundation and I was like, I want it so bad. I want to get it. It's an amazing foundation because Jaclyn Hill likes it. You know, Jaclyn Hill has oily skin. No, she has matte, like she has dry skin. I have oily skin. So it's kind of like, mm, I don't know. But like, I got this foundation. <laughs> And for some reason, I didn't use it. I mean, I've used it, but I haven't used it in a while. And it's like, I can't remember what I think of this foundation because I haven't used it in so long. And it's like, you know. It's a natural finish oil-free foundation, so I might like it. But I'm going to try it, and I'm going to see how it looks on my skin. I have no idea how it's going to be. And at the same time, this was probably one of my more expensive foundations, so I feel bad about throwing it out. Hopefully I won't be able to, hopefully I won't have to, but yes, this is the Cover FX Natural Finish Oil-Free Foundation. Okay, then I have uh, three more foundations, okay? I'm going to talk about this one right here. I have a lot of drugstore foundations because some drugstore foundations can be pretty great. I haven't like shown you, well I've shown you several really stellar drugstore formulas, but I'm saving like, I'm saving a little bit over here for like full on like boom 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 like this is amazing action I have no idea what I'm saying but this is the wet and wild photo focus foundation here's the thing I need to try this again <laughs> because 
It's the type of foundation that's weird. Like, it's weird because I used to like wear all the time on camera because it looks good on camera. Like, this is a photo focus. It has to look good on camera kind of foundation. And it looks good on camera, okay? Apparently, there's no flashback. So if you're interested in that, there you go. And this is like a very, uh, I would say like full coverage, well not full coverage, I'd say medium to full coverage foundation, so it covers a lot. But the problem with this is when you like go out into natural like daylight, no matter how little of this foundation you use on your skin, or I'm just speaking from my experience, no matter how little foundation I used on my skin, it still looked like I was wearing like a considerable amount of foundation. And because I'm so sensitive to like wearing foundations now, like this honestly is me wearing a lot of foundation and I'm not wearing a lot of foundation. Like I'm barely wearing a drop of foundation on my entire face and it's like sheared out, okay? So wearing this on my skin is, I don't think it's gonna work for me really. And I could use it as an eyelid primer. I could, but it's like, I'm not sure. See, like I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna see how I like it. Because my excuse for keeping this foundation, I think, was I can use it up on camera because it looks good on camera. But it's kind of like if I'm not using it in, like, quote-unquote, real life, what's the point? That's my question. Okay, so I have two foundations left. I'm going to save the best for last, by the way. But the first is the Sephora foundation, and this is a 10-hour wear foundation. This is a foundation that I need to try again because it's a pump. So like in theory, it's like a pretty good foundation because it has a pump, you know, and it's a pretty good price for Sephora anyway. Um, but it's kind of like, it's a little bit of a thicker formula. It's very whipped in my experience. It's thicker and it spreads out nicely. It spreads out like good for a foundation and it has like a medium to full coverage from what I can remember. But it's like, I haven't used it in a while and I feel like I should. So I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna let you guys know, and then we'll go on from there. See, it's so thick that like, it was on its side, and now all the product has gathered at the bottom, and now I'm like, putting it like this and it's not moving. Last but my favorite is a drugstore foundation. That's about, I'd say, probably five to ten dollars. I would say ten dollars. Definitely below fifteen dollars, but no matter the price, this is quite possibly my favorite foundation. Currently, I change my mind all the time. This is a foundation that I absolutely love right now. I know, I change my mind a lot, but right now it is a foundation that is my default. I wear this foundation a ton. This is the Physician's Formula, the healthy foundation. If you like a natural coverage Okay, if you like a natural finish, if you want to cover, but then again, you want a foundation that is neither matte nor dewy, but healthy. A foundation that looks like natural skin as much as, as, much as a foundation can look like natural skin. This is an amazing foundation. I got this foundation on, rec on recommendation from a friend and her name is Sophie. She has a Instagram account, which I'll link down below. She posts like all the time and I don't really post that much. So she's kind of my Instagram idol for her consistency. But um, she basically had like this amazing foundation on her skin. And I was hanging out with her and I was like, what foundation are you wearing? And by chance we were at Target and she was like, this one. And I was like, I'm buying it because I like your skin. I've tried it out and it's seriously a killer foundation. I love it and I love it so much. I'm not even like complaining that much about the fact that it doesn't have a pump, but instead it has like this weird spongy thing, which I basically like use to measure out the foundation because the way I have been wearing this foundation is simply by taking like this tip and like putting it on the back of my hand and just putting it back in and that's how much I use all over my face. And that's pretty much what I did today. Um, where was I? But this is like an amazing foundation. It looks so good on my skin. It's a foundation that wears off very naturally. This is a great match for me and it just looks so good. It looks amazing. I love it. I can definitely bet that it looks better on my skin than any of these higher end foundations. And remember how much I was obsessed with the Fenty foundation for like the longest time? Now, like that obsession has like translated to this, but it's so good. It is so, so darn good. 
and I just have like almost no words to express like my love for this foundation, but I definitely can say 110% if I had to get rid of all of these foundations and choose one, it would be this one. That is just how it would be. It would be this one because like this is my like favorite foundation of the moment, you know. It doesn't really work well as an eyeshadow primer though because like it's just it's not like a mattifying long wearing foundation it's just a foundation that looks like your natural skin and makes your skin look like that much better you know so like, that's why it works for me but like right now at the moment i don't want a mattifying foundation even though like, this is like quite matte but at the same time it's looking like my natural skin which right now since i'm not sweating is pretty like non-oily does that make any sense i have no idea hopefully you guys can like just get the gist i know i'm so like weird whenever i'm editing i'm like looking at myself and i'm like well you sound like an idiot <laughs> and i'm like yeah i, I kind of do why did i just have a conversation with myself i don't know okay so i have 15 foundations if i miscounted please forgive me i'm terrible at math but uh these are all the foundations that i have in my collection i would like to cut it down i am not really interested in like decluttering like makeup just for the sake of it i just want to realistically cut down the makeup in my makeup collection because i feel like it's a little bit much and i would say that my goal is with my collection is to be at that point where i could just like blindfold myself and just reach into my collection randomly and take out a product and have it be like a great product that i know that i love and use hopefully i'll be able to like hold myself accountable and actually use most if not all of these foundations so i can just sort of sort of get a sense of them and just declutter them with like a little bit of knowledge about each formula and everything about this because like I just haven't used a lot of these foundations in a long time and I think that that just goes to show how easy it can be to like get more things than you actually need because honestly if you really think about it we only need like us makeup lovers just like a few foundations to really make us happy but then again we have like different finishes we have different coverage levels that we prefer we have different looks so that's where it gets a little bit complicated but like now i have like one uniform look that i always go for so that kind of makes it easier for me to like weed out the ones that i'm not using and just you know think about how i can just like streamline everything a little bit more so i hope that this was enjoyable and helpful in some way to you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow bye guys